Okay, terrific. Hey, congratulations for Shit House. Thank you so much. So, uh, for, first of all, Cooper, where did you get the idea for the film for uh, Shit House? Uh, I, my sophomore year of college, I really wanted to make a movie over spring break, and I didn't know what to make it about, and it seemed like the best idea was to make it about college because that's where we were going to film it regardless. So I uh, just told myself that I was going to make a movie about college. And then from there, it became just a love story about the girl that I was dating at the time. And she actually acted in it, that original movie. So um, yeah, the idea just came from what what college was like but also ma mainly just that relationship that i had with this girl that's that's the genesis and and for you dylan um why you were attracted to shit house um i thought it was really good and i thought that it was going to be really fun um the normal stuff that anybody you know you're just it's it's near where you live and you're available and you like <laughs> to act <laughs> so how, how did both of you want to um approach your characters because your characters are very how can you say relatable for a lot of uh, college students out there particularly this this generation uh dylan uh what what's the i'm sorry what's how did you want to approach your characters because it's so relatable to a lot of uh college oh. generations today um <laughs> this is, I, it's so boring. I was just going to say I just wanted to approach it. Honestly, that sounds like a cop-out movie. <laughs> uh, probably is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I wanted to do uh, what was on the page justice and bring my own work to it. Again, I like I liked acting. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, my answer is the same. Like, I wanted to... I, I, I wasn't making up a lot of things, so... Um, what I put on the, I, I don't think I was like thinking about trying to make, write a universal movie or make a universal movie that was going to uh, appeal to all these different people. But like, I think I was aware that they are such foils for each other and bring such different perspectives that like, it's going to uh, hit more than like a, a sensitive kid. It's like also going to uh, be relatable for people like Maggie, uh, and um yeah but it's like very, it's a very divisive movie in that way too i guess <laughs> how much chemistry or synergy did uh, you two develop before the production of this film uh we rehearsed so i guess uh yeah we definitely developed chemistry before shooting and it wasn't just like on a day um yeah right yeah you don't like feel it for the first time on the day like we 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 rehearsed and we um yeah yes um talk about the night shoots uh th through through this uh through this project sometimes uh for some actors uh, night shoots are pretty difficult but uh talk about it for an indie project something like this I mean, it was really difficult because the hours were insane um, uh, and we were like working like a, a weird hours and also we just didn't do a great job of scheduling. So like we would have like a day shoot and then like a night shoot very soon after. So I think like Dylan's sleep schedule was probably super screwed up. Uh, I lost control of my body and mind. Yeah, same. <laughs> it was really hard. Like we didn't have like we not only did we not have like the money to like have the support, we also didn't like, I, I scheduled the movie and I just didn't do a great job of that. And um, cause I didn't, the main reason was I didn't realize how long it takes to set up each shot. And like, I didn't, um, so we had to like uh, think on our feet a lot and like move things around. And, um, and I, and I was just like really ambitious in like the hours that I chose and, um, it was hard. It was really hard on our uh, mental health, probably. <laughs> Cooper, this being your directorial feature film debut, how difficult was it, particularly the fact that you also starred in the movie? 
it was hard on everybody else. Like for me, it was like uh, the reason why those roles are different roles, like done by many different people is because like you, uh, everyone else around you is like looking to the director to be like the leader and the, the person who's not worried about how they're going to say a line. And so I think the main thing was just that um, it, it's, it's hard to like, know exactly um who to look to and where you're going like i think dylan was like a, a, the leader on set in a lot of ways just because um she was like the m most um experienced person but also just like the most professional in the sense of like she knew what she was doing at all times and um yeah it was really challenging to play all the parts and it, it's not something that I'd want to do again. <laughs> like it's, it's hard. How, how did you feel about that Dylan, that you are the most ex experienced on set at that moment? Um, I didn't feel, uh, that responsibility. I mean, uh, it, it was full of really nice people that were really great to hang out with. And, you know, I mean, the DP is like incredible and, um, didn't certainly did a lot of cool work. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't feel, I didn't, feel like that. Now, now we know that uh, for Cooper, this is very relatable, but for Dylan, um, was this, was this film relatable to you? I don't no, We're not sure what your college experience um, was like. Nobody is sure. I, uh, I didn't go to college. I uh, went straight to, to Hollywood. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, of course, I think anything about people is relatable to anybody. That's why you can watch, you know, a, a silent movie from the 30s and, and feel very moved by it. It's because all humans are the same. Excellent. And, and where, how did you develop, Cooper, how did you develop the fictional campus uh, for, for something like this? Uh, I just thought about the campus that I went to a lot. Um, yeah, it was very much just like based on, I went to Occidental and Eagle Rock uh, in Los Angeles. And um, we ended up shooting there some, we like actually stole the location so we weren't allowed to film there. But um, <laughs> we also went to Santa Barbara for four or five, four days. And um, my sister went to that boarding school. So I went there to like scout uh, the locations and, um, yeah, I wanted it to make sure it felt like a, a, a college campus, but I think uh, all I pulled from was just like my campus that I went to. Excellent. And um, one more thing before I let you uh, both go. I mean, it's right now we're experiencing crazy times as we're talking um, via Zoom right now, but how are you staying sane and creative during times like this? I'm cooking a lot of Indian food getting really good at it. Huh? <laughs> getting really good at it, finding it a challenge. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, I, uh, I don't know if I, yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't know if I am, but I, I guess I'm cooking a lot as everybody is, but uh, I think Dylan, you like tweeted something like that. Like, I don't know, never mind. But do you remember what I'm talking about? You tweeted oh. something like, everyone's cooking right now you know what i'm talking about no but this is good i'm glad this is in <laughs> no i yeah i mean i'm doing what everyone else is doing like i think i'm trying to like uh read and like stay sane and like watch uh tv shows and um yeah i don't know it's hard it's hard it's a more than crazy time excellent well hey i um i thank you uh for this conversation but real, real fast cooper where's that turtle now uh, the turtle was uh, a friend of mine, so uh, sh she's safe somewhere. Um, it it was a girl, but um, it was a guy in the in the script. So, it, but anyway, she's 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 great. I think she's still alive and thriving. <laughs> I haven't seen her in a second though. Excellent. Well, hey, thank you very much uh, for doing uh, shit house, and thank you uh, for this uh, conversation. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. You. Bye. Thanks, Gig. Bye.